Welcome, adventurers. Today, we're going to be uh, making some tunnels, corridors, whatever, using this stuff to turn them into all this stuff. Now, it's mostly handcrafted things. Um, however, the framing you see here, I designed and printed with my 3D printer because it is infinitely quicker than me trying to do so by hand. Um, it gets tedious and long and well, you waited long enough for a video. Um, in that note, I've been overwhelmed with my normal job, so I haven't had the time to dedicate to this. I'm hoping that's changing soon, but I can't predict that. Working in biotech, it is what it is sometimes, and so I am sorry. Basically, these are about three inches wide at the base and about two and a half inches wide at the top. And I did not make tops for these tunnels, but, uh, I could have easily and if you want to do that you just basically make something wide enough that goes into the top the top rails will support it it's very easy and that way you can hide surprises in corridors that your players haven't explored yet as you can see here I've made a T a 90 degree some short three inch sections uh, all the bigger pieces are six inches by six inches and the short ones are three inches by three inches and that's the outside most length. The flooring is granny grating, aka uh, cross stitch mesh. Just super glued down to some medium density chipboard. I feel like Wylock is coming through in a lot of this video for some reason. Um, but yeah, glued down. The pieces that are narrowest go on the bottom edge, you're going to see here. And they uh, are also six inches for the long pieces, three inches for the shorts and they uh, just glue right down into place. They're about two and a half centimeters, not quite an inch. And the top ones are about two and a quarter inches. Um, but those are rough dimensions. And of course, if you're building them to a different scale or standard, then obviously you could use different dimensions. But I, uh, I want this all to be pretty consistent. Now this piece here, I was going to 3D print some outside attachment points. So you can like expand the corridors and stuff. Um, but there was a flaw in my 3D model. And so it would print weird, as you see there. But it makes a handy dandy guide for cutting pieces when I want to join up 90 degree angles and 45 degree angles. So you can slap it on there like that. And then the next adjoining piece, you cut to the same standard using that uh, guide. And as you see here, zoom in and bada bing. They just kind of join right up. These plastic pieces I designed, uh, I'll embed a link to where I originally put them in some of my sci-fi terrain, um, which means it would fit the scale and the style, keeping things consistent. Now this is some black paper that I picked up somewhere, I don't know where. It's got kind of a texture to one side. I thought it might be neat. I was not confident how much of the texture would actually come out, and this is to cover the side um, seams. It's thin, easy to work with, easy to cut. As you see there. It was like two passes with a very sharp, you know, box cutter blade. Just some tacky glue, smeared on with a Q-tip because that's easy. Pre-creased to follow the contour and uh, push it into place. The nice thing is, is it bonds so quickly with the tacky glue because it's basically paper to paper. Now I want to remind you to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, if you'd like to further support me and this craft, uh, Patreon. The decking, just black after a matte gray primer coat, which actually I really like the color of, so I decided to keep. I uh, mask out these trim pieces so I could color code them. Now you could do all kinds of things. You could, you know, use alphanumerics to indicate the various tunnels and whatnot. I just chose three random colors to kind of dapple on to the outside and give them that rough, used, weather-beaten look that you might see in this kind of corridor if it was exposed to the elements on some harsh alien planet where you would need corridors. Of course, black wash, everything. I went over it twice because it's so... Uh, light that it's easy to, or so dark rather, that the uh, details would 
and miss out. Uh, dry brush a little bit on the outside to kind of create a, a weathered, like the paint's chipping a bit and what's underneath is a lighter gray metal. And also any dusty planet beyond would be pretty dusty. Uh, dry brushing some bright silver along the middle of the corridors to show wear and tear on the metal grating. Now I'd like to thank all of my patrons, HM Girl Potpourri, Ryer Tonic, and Ian Clark, and of course, uh, LAJ. Now to some glamour shots. I really enjoy how these came out. I'm glad they're so consistent with another build. Um, there I cut out on the longer things the overhead cross support. That way when you're maneuvering character pieces through there you're going to have less issues. I was really proud about how that turned out. I love that 90 degree corner turn. And of course here's your three way. You could also make a four way corridor if you wanted to. Uh, really anything you wanted with those. I just uh, made a few of these pieces. I didn't make a ton because uh, obviously I uh, don't have a gaming group right now so making a ton of them would be counterproductive and just take up a lot of space. But one day I'll make some more when I have a gaming group to actually use these things on. Here you can see I've got various characters moving around. Uh, obviously I made it wide enough that if they're small or normal size character you could go two by two. Bigger characters would be one by one. You can set up ambushes and hammer and anvil kind of tactics. But as I was looking at this I realized it reminded me of something. I couldn't quite figure out what it was. It was it was right on the tip of my tongue. I, I was thinking, I was like, I've seen this somewhere before. Uh, I'm not sure where, but it was definitely something I'm a, a very much a fan of, and I just can't, just can't quite place my finger on it. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed what I've uh, put here together today, and uh, go have an adventure in crafting. <laughs>